Court dismisses CCT chairman's bid to stop Senate assault investigation. A federal high court in Abuja, Tuesday, 26 April, ordered the chairman of a, co a code of conduct tribunal, CCT, Danladi Umar, to appear before the Nigerian Senate committee, probing allegations of misconduct brought against him in a public petition. Hi, everyone. This is Lagos, and the court dismissed Danladi Umar's suit instituted against the Senate and others seeking to stop the investigation on alleged public misconduct at Banex Plaza in Abuja on March 29, 2021. Stay tuned to find out more in this video. But before we get started, please. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. And of course, activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Justice Iang Ekwo, in a judgment in the suit, held that the case of a CCT chairman lacked merit and had no cogent reason to stop the Senate from undertaking its constitutional functions. Justice Echo held that sections 88 and 89 of the 1999 constitution under which the CCT was sought to be protected by the court did not confer any protection or refuge on him. The judge said, that as a public officer administering a law relating to the conduct of public officers, Umar has no reason to institute the suit to stop the Senate from investigating a public petition seeking justice on moral standards. The judge also said that the Code of Conduct Bureau and Code of Conduct Tribunal Act 2010 are established by the Act of the National Assembly and as such, is subject to investigation by the National Assembly. Also, the judge said that Section 2 of the Code of Conduct Bureau exposes Umar to an investigation by the National Assembly than another Nigerian, adding that it would be illogical for him to seek to stop the Senate probe, as doing so will give an impression that he is above the law. Justice Echo. Equal. Therefore, held that the declaratory reliefs sought by Umar for an injunction against the Senate cannot be granted because the case lacked merit. The CCT chairman had challenged the powers of the Senate and three others to investigate him. The four defendants in the matter are the Senate, the Senate President, Senate Committee on Ethics privileges and public petitions and the attorney general of a federation if you enjoyed this please like share and subscribe so you can get notifications